With my colleague in charge of human development, in charge of health, and in charge of education, we are currently uh, discussing the, the possibility of building a very strong uh, initiative around uh, uh, health and AI in our project at the World Bank. And uh, I will be, de will be delighted to partner with Saudi Arabia in that particular context, but also to help greening the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mokhtar, and it gives me an absolute pleasure through the platform of this global AI summit to announce the, the collaboration between Saudi Arabia, represented by SDAIA, and the World Bank in launching the event of the collaboration, leaving no one behind. We believe it's very important that everyone should have access to AI everyone, every nation should be able to leverage and get the potential benefits from utilizing AI. We believe that we have a very good story to tell in Saudi Arabia. We have the aspiration to take in the leading role to helping other nations and what a beautiful collaboration uh, to do it with the World Bank which has the expertise as well. I believe that the result of this collaboration will be very beneficial to a lot of other countries and developing nations. We believe that we can help those nations and the people of those nations to utilize and use AI for the betterment of the people who live in those nations. We believe we can help fund, catalyze, and accelerate the usage of AI in those nations. It's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful collaboration and we're very happy to collaborate with the World Bank and helping other nations to achieve and utilize AI to the betterment of their people. Thank you very much, Mr. Mukhtar. If you have any closing remarks. Thank you so very much to, for uh, this collaboration. I am personally very excited, I'm thrilled. Uh, because uh, uh, Saudi Arabia has been really insisting on the need to emphasize disruptive technology in the economic development path. And AI is uh, one of the most disruptive technology right now available and largely available. So we couldn't see a better partner than uh, Saudi Arabia to collaborate on this initiative, to take uh, the knowledge that you are developing in, in, in your countries and share it with other countries. What we, we think that is quite unique in the partnership that we've been built with you is that Saudi Arabia is uh, gathering the uh, 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 research, the most advanced research in the world, but also is working in conditions which are very important for developing countries. If you look at all issues related to cooling, to access to energy, to developing agriculture uh, in, a, in, in a climate, uh, uh, in a situation where water is, is scarce. All these issues are issues that Saudi Arabia is dealing with using the best technology. So we cannot see a better partner to use those advances to bring them to country. We also know, uh, and uh, 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 coming from a country which has a strong uh, uh, collaboration with Saudi Arabia, I know that there is a strong interest in uh, closing the income gap and reducing inequality in countries as part of the philosophy that uh, the kingdom is uh, having when it works uh, with our countries. The host, uh, you have been uh, the host of the G20 this year, and uh, we will be working hand in hand with you to continue pushing also this agenda in the G20. We just finished our annual meeting at the World Bank. This week, actually, we are still having a couple of meetings, and we praised really the role that you, you, you are playing uh, at the G20 and how we can re we rely on, uh, on you as an institution to help move this agenda. So once again, thank you very much. And uh, I will venture to say a few words in Arabic. Shukran.